All right, guys. Um, I said I would do this video, get a quick short video on how I got my gauges working. Um, I couldn't figure it out for the, for the life of me. But in uh, uh, any case, um, just to give you a little heads up, this uh, I'm doing this on my uh, laptop, and I have two screens. Um, they're both uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, but it works the same principle um, as my simulator, which has seven monitors. Um, the thing about it is that you got to be really uh, careful um, to ensure that whatever monitors you have are all at the same uh, DPI scaling. Uh, Helios will not uh, set anything out, and it doesn't, it doesn't uh, work with uh, different uh, screens in their DPI. So make sure they're all set to 100% so that uh, Helios will be able to write it anyway um you need to download uh helios if you haven't done it already um and it comes it's got this control center which will come into play here in just a few minutes just basically turn it on and off uh while you're in game um i'm gonna go ahead and just put this the uh gauges right on this main screen and you'll see how it works but uh once you get it you'll have to um you know, move it around to the screen you want to and figure out where what position you know, on the X and Y coordinates on that particular screen. And it took me a little trial and error because of the openings on the instrument gauges. Um, I didn't know the exact size, so I had to keep moving those around and, and save the profile, move it, save it, start it uh, to see where they were. It took me a little a little while to do that. Uh, there probably is an easier way, but I, I didn't know. This is just uh, all brand new to me. So let's get into it. The Helios Profile Editor, I'm going to open that up. Um, and there it is. So right now we have an untitled uh, profile. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by just kind of explaining a little bit about this and how this thing is. Uh, most of the people don't know about this interface status, and that's pretty much what happened with me. Uh, I thought you could just click, drag, and drop the gauges, and it would work. But you got to have a way to talk to DCS and DCS talk back to this to let it know what it wants to do. And that'll all come down here where the bindings, input, output uh, interfaces are. Uh, and it's fairly easy. It's just a uh, drag and drop, and I'll show you that in a second. Anyway, right now I've got two monitors listed every one and two, but they're not identical to the way this is. This They set this up in order based on um, how they want to do it. So you got to figure out which monitor is which. So in this case, uh, I have uh, uh, an additional monitor sits on top of this laptop, so it's above it. But in reality, it's it's actually monitor um, uh, monitor one, I believe, or monitor monitor two, I think it is. Uh, so right now, you got this monitor one. If I put it here, it's going to be on the top monitor. So I've got to open up the second monitor, and you double click on that, and you see it comes up here in this tab. So now you got interface monitor one, monitor two. So monitor two is the one I want to be working with. Uh, and as you can see, there's a there's a zoom uh, scale here, so it's a lot easier to work with if you zoom it down. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the DCS um, the DCS interface, not the F18. There's two of them, and I'll show you that here in a second. I'm going to go down here, add interface. Okay, and it gives you the list of interfaces. So I want to do DCS monitor setup first, set all that up, and then I'm going to go up here to the F18. And I'll load that. And that's got all the key bindings. Okay, so click on DCS monitor setup, add. Okay, it's going to come up with a screen. And you can see right here at the top of the tab here, it says DCS monitor setup. So now you want to set up your monitor. This is representing what your in-game um, panels will look like. And then it tells you total resolution. That's what you're going to end up putting in your, uh, your DCS game so that it recognizes uh, the pixels. Um, and of course, down here, the first thing you're going to end up having to do before you can do anything else is you got to save this profile because right now it's untitled. So it says you must save the profile at least once before configuring monitor setup. So I'm going to save this profile. Okay, right now I'm just going to I'm going to label it test. Okay, now it's been saved. You can see right here. Combine monitor setup. It's called test. Okay, up here, it's default to the top left corner of desktop. Um, some of them are in a row, horizontal. There's a lot of selections here, but it's just based on how you're setting your uh, monitors up. Okay, now that we set up the monitors, you can go back to interface status to see if there's anything still wrong. There isn't because of the fact that we haven't loaded the F18 uh, 
aircraft interface. And I can't remember, but we'll see here in a second whether or not it does something when we do this. Uh, I think it does once you start setting the gauges up. So today we're only going to use, only use two gauges. It'll be the uh, vertical velocity indicator and the edit, standby attitude gyro. So let's go up to profile, come down to add interface again, and then you're going to find DCS F18, which has got all your bindings. You're going to add that. Okay. Where you're going to see this is you're going to see it up here, but you're also going to see down here the bindings because that's what you're going to be concerned with. So when you click on interface, you'll see you, you added DCS monitor setup, and then you just added F18C. So now when you click this arrow here, it's going to expand that, and you'll see all the instruments and gauges and everything in the cockpit that you uh, you'd be concerned about. So right here, we're going to do the standby attitude indicator. And then if you go to flight instruments, you'll see when you expand that, there is a vertical velocity in it. And then we'll, we'll deal with that here in a second. And these are your bindings right here. This is where you tell it what you want it to do. Okay, so now I'm going to go back up to monitor two, since that's going to be my bottom monitor. And I'm going to go down here to F18 gauges. Okay. We said attitude gyro, put that right there, and then vertical velocity indicator, and I'm going to put that right there. Okay, so now oh, let's work on the uh, attitude gyro first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the attitude gyro that uh, is on here, which is the standby SS SAI. So I'm going to expand that. Okay, once, once you decide which um, gauge you're going to work on, make sure it's highlighted so that way in the bindings it, it's basically uh, coincides with this particular gauge. If you are if you got this one highlighted and you're trying to do the SAI, this is not going to work because it doesn't recognize which gauge you're working on. you got to highlight it, make sure you got it uh, visible, and then, then now you got all the, the selections. And what we're going to be working on, at least this is what I only wanted to work on because there are other... Um, bindings that you can set is all I want is the pitch and bank of that gauge. That's all I wanted. Um, and then, of course, you can do the steering offset bar, all that stuff, so that it, it actually, you know, when you're flying an ILS or whatever, it'll show. But in any case, uh, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to try to find pitch and change. Those are the two. And these are the bindings. So you're going to bind the input actions to, to the bindings. So all you do is click on pitch, hold it, and you're going to drag it across and you're going to set it on pitch. Now it's going to tell you this is the action to trigger values when SAI pitch on DCS F18C changes. So it's telling you that you want that gauge to change when you change something to DCS. Same thing goes with bank. You click on that, you drag it over here to bank, and you drop it, and it does the same thing. So now that gauge is completed for me, at least for me, but you can do other, other things. You can see set bank steering bar offset, steering bar offset, glide slope offset, indicator offsets. You can do all that stuff. So up here, um, now I'm going to select the vertical velocity indicator, highlighted in that uh, aqua color, green or blue or whatever that is. And I'm going to go find the flight instruments right here, and then there's the VVI change. So it says right here, set vertical velocity. So I want to click on that, drag it over here and drop it. Okay, now um, those are the two gauges, so it's all set. Let me go up here, profile, let's save it. Okay, interface status. So the profile interface, no, no uh, exclamation point, so everything is set. And um, the, person, the uh, Helios did the check for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to come up here to Helios control panel, which you should have on there too. You got to open that up because you want to start uh, Helios and run it. Okay, that's your control panel. Okay, now you have uh, I've got like uh, three profiles set. These are this is Captain Zine's profiles. And then that's the one I just set. So the only thing you do is you hit the start button. It says loading profile, run profile, here's your gauges. Okay, if that lights up, there'll be a list of stuff that's not done, and you got to go back in the profile editor and fix those things. But if it says running profile, as you can see, they popped up. Right now, they're stationary uh, until you get in game. So I'm going to go ahead and start the game here.
I don't have any flight controls hooked up to this thing, so I'm going to be using uh, keystrokes to, to steer the airplane. Um, so, it's not reflective of my flying skills, hopefully. <laughs> I'm just going to put the F-18 into instant action free flight so you can see this. Well, I may not be able to push the fly button. may have to turn this off and turn it back on here. Okay, so now I'm going to hit the fly button. All right, now I'm flying. All right, now. All right so I'm going to go up. Down. Bank. So you see it works. All right, I'll go ahead and... Uh, Quit the desktop. Those will stay there until you turn this off. So you just hit the power button off and boom, they disappear. Um, go back here, get uh, heat, uh, profiles open back up again. And so anyway, that's how I did it. Um, so if you got any questions, uh, just uh, feel free to message me. Um, or uh, you can actually just uh, post it there on on the uh, the cockpit shop. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope it works for you.